welcome to Mini Microphone Mondays, where we answer your burning questions. Mini Microphone Mondays. Wow, those microphones are so small. I really want to grow a wild Lovingdance garden. Can I just let the invasives grow wild? Great question. Tired of keeping a lawn, kind of bored with how uniform and undiverse it is? Fair enough. Native wild gardens are great biodiversity. They provide homes for pollinators, birds, and other critters. <laughs> they also look pretty cool. However, a wild garden is not PC if it's covered in invasive species. Invasive plants tend to outcompete all the lovely native plants. They create dense monocultures, which is actually very bad for biodiversity. Invasive plants also have a tendency to, well, invade. So don't be surprised if your invasive plants are suddenly infringing on your neighbors or vice versa, who knows? Depending on where you live, there might also be some bylaws or regulations uh, that prohibit you from growing invasive plants on your land. So little did you know, your wild garden might actually be illegal. Low maintenance gardens are great, but letting invasives run amok is not the way to do it. Mini microphone Mondays. Wow, those microphones are so small.